The US spends a significantly greater amount of money on their military than any other nation. In fact, it spends more than the next eight highest spending countries combined. Over half of that spending goes toward maintenance and upkeep, along with paying their personnel salaries. But a good chunk of that money goes toward research and development. This totals a little bit more than 10% of their entire budget. This spending on research alone is as much as Russia spends total on its armed forces. And this makes sense. If you want to maintain the status as the world's most powerful military, you need to be constantly designing and operating the most powerful and most advanced weaponry. Another interesting note about the U.S. defense budget is its so-called black budget. The U.S. government is accountable to its taxpayers and must publicly disclose how they are spending the taxpayers' money. Obviously, you wouldn't want a potential enemy to simply be able to look up and see what new top-secret weapons you are developing or classified operations you are running. So the U.S. will hide some of its spendings throughout its budget with nondescript project names like Tractor Nail or Link Pulmeria. Because these budget items are spread throughout the defense budget, it is difficult to know just how big the black budget is. But for 2017, it is estimated to be around $60 billion. With all of this money going towards secret black budgets in research and development, the U.S. has built dozens of top secret bases for this work to be carried out. This video will be a little bit different than the others, but I find the locations listed in this video very interesting and worth taking a look at. The first is the Dugway Proving Grounds. Dugway is located in Utah, about 100 miles southwest of Salt Lake City. It is an extremely large facility taking up over 1,200 square miles. The base is used for research and testing of chemical, biological, and radiological weapons, mostly for defensive measures, but reportedly also for use as offensive weapons. The U.S. is party to the Biological Weapons Convention of 1972, which bans acquiring and retaining these weapons. However, the U.S. has continued to produce and stockpile biological weapons like anthrax at Dugway. In 2015, a lab at Dugway accidentally shipped live anthrax samples to over a dozen locations throughout the country. Dugway has also become a prime target for UFO conspiracy theorists, nicknaming the site the New Area 51. They claim that secret underground bases at Dugway are reverse engineering UFO technology. Places such as Granite and Wildcat Mountain are on the top of their list. The next is Cheyenne Mountain Complex. The facility was made famous from the movie and TV show Stargate. Cheyenne was built during the Cold War as the headquarters of NORAD, which is tasked with monitoring any possible threat over North America. The base is made up of 15 three-story buildings built deep into the mountain. Each building sits on top of large springs. This allows the base to better absorb and survive a nuclear blast. It is also shielded against EMP attacks, allowing it to continue operating under any condition. Since the end of the Cold War, the base has slowly dwindled down. NORAD and the United States Space Command eventually relocated their headquarters to the nearby Peterson Air Force Base. Despite this, Cheyenne is still in use. Over a dozen government agencies operate in the facility, several of which are top secret and not publicly named. Raven Rock Mountain Complex is another underground facility located about 60 miles north of Washington, D.C. Construction on the facility began shortly after the first Russian nuclear test. The site is known as the Underground Pentagon and the Backup Pentagon and will be used by the U.S. Military Command in the event of a nuclear war. The base is built deep into the mountain, about a half mile in and a half mile deep. It is a very large facility, consisting of several buildings, some of which are seven stories tall, connected by a series of tunnels, and can accommodate several thousand government officials and personnel. The site is also part of the United States continuity of operations to ensure that the government can continue functioning in the event of an emergency or a nuclear war. It dictates that either the president or the vice president should be airborne and the other in a secret bunker to increase the odds of survival of one of the two. Shortly after 9-11, President Bush went airborne on Air Force One, and Vice President Cheney was taken to Raven Rock. Area 51 is by far the most famous top secret military bases in the world. The U.S. government refused to even acknowledge its existence until recently. The facility conducts research and testing on the latest and most advanced aircraft. The site has also conducted testing on captured Soviet aircraft, so that countermeasures and tactics can be devised to defeat them. This testing is still going on to this day. Earlier this year, a Russian-made Su-27 was seen mock dogfighting with a U.S. F-16 in the skies over the base. Its remote location allows for increased secrecy while conducting these tests. 
Area 51 is part of the larger 5,000 square mile Nevada test and training range, located northeast of Las Vegas. This range is used for training and testing as well. It has many simulated Russian-made surface-to-air missile sites, air bases, and urban areas that are used to practice attacking. This site was also used for almost 1,000 nuclear detonations during the Cold War. It also holds the large-scale red flag exercises, where nations from all over the world train and practice their aerial warfare techniques against each other. Also, you can't talk long about Area 51 without bringing up the topic of UFOs and aliens. The base is claimed by these conspiracy theorists to house crashed flying saucers, and by some accounts, even live aliens. And finally is Plant 42 near Los Angeles. Plant 42 has been the site where many of the most advanced aircraft were designed and tested. Three of the largest defense companies have facilities here. Boeing, who builds the F-A-18 Super Hornet, Northrop Grumman, who built the B-2 Stealth Bombers, and Lockheed Martin, who developed the F-22 and the F-35 Stealth Aircraft. The facility is home to the famous, highly secretive Lockheed Martin Skunk Works. Skunk Works is responsible for the design of the U-2, the SR-71, the F-117, the F-22, and the F-35. This past summer, a scaled test version of the SR-72 being developed at Skunk Works was reportedly spotted at Plant 42. Earlier this year, Northrop Grumman was also awarded $36 million to construct a new coating facility at Plant 42. This is most likely connected with the development by Northrop Grumman of the new B-21 stealth bomber. These facilities are just a few of the many top secret bases in the U.S. 